my name's Diane. I used to be a teacher. I taught drama, which stands for the reading and moving about. <laughs> Some of them didn't quite get it. Uh, and the day I decided to quit was when a little girl who I'd known for four years came up to me and said, Miss, no offence or nothing, but we've all been chatting and we reckon if any of us had a gig or a baby, we'd drown it in a sack. <laughs> enjoy teaching uh, the older kids who can talk back. I, I couldn't ever deal with the little ones because they're just, uh, they're too twee. They kind of come up to you and go, ah, oh, miss, tell me about unicorns and sunshine and tell me that I'm a princess and I'm too bleak. And I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, I wish I could pop it, but I know for a fact that in 11 years' time, I'm going to come out of a pub pissed and see you being fingered behind a skip. <laughs> I, uh, I like ice skating. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple of things I won't do on an ice skating rink. One is a handstand, for obvious reasons. And uh, the other one is the splits. Uh, if you don't know what the splits is, uh, it's where one leg goes north, one leg goes south, and your legs keep going until your foof hits the ice. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do the splits on an ice skating rink just because I'm scared of creating some kind of suction cup effect. <laughs> I don't want to get stuck there, you know, I've got shit to do. Um, I'm not showing off, I don't have some kind of magnificent. I mean, believe me, if I did, I would not be here. Uh, if I had that kind of power, I would go to America and I would enter rodeos naked for the prize money. I mean, come on, as long as I had a saddle, do you know what I mean? I'd be like Garfield on a windscreen, I'd be fine. I mean, they'd be like, oh my god, ma'am, do you like, do you at least want a hat or something? I'd be like, ha <laughs> ha, no! I'm fine. <laughs> um, I don't have any uh, kids myself, but I have a lot of friends who are giving birth, and uh, one of them, she, uh, she seemed to think that if you get the birth of the child right, the rest of the child's life magically follows. I know this isn't right. She goes to me, yeah, you see, you've got to get it right from the very beginning. I'm going to have a home birth. I was like, no, you're not. You've got cream carpets. <laughs> and then she goes, no, you see, I'm going to have some tea lights and I'm going to have a birthing pool and I'm going to create an air of tranquility and my baby, my baby's just going to slide. Just slide peacefully into the world. I was like, honey, if your baby's going to slide out of your vagina, you were too fucking rough when you made it. <laughs> Kind of implies there's no tread left on the tyres. <laughs> I got a text on the day as well going, come and witness the miracle! I don't know if any of you have seen a live birth, it's absolutely disgusting. Uh, I walked in and the uh, tea lights had set fire to the curtains, so there was this black smoke on the ceiling. And I walk into the lounge and there's my friend, sat in a paddling pool with her newborn child bobbing around in all the turds she pushed out as well. <laughs> I was like, let me get this straight, your baby slid out of your vagina into a pool full of shit. That's not a natural birth, that's the log flu. And plus you get messed with the baby, you get baby and then you get piece number two, the placenta, it's got a tail. I was like, fuck that, I'm not having a child until they come in wireless. <laughs> my name's Diane Spence, my show's called All Pervading Madness, I hope I see you there, thanks, Good night. Hey, Diane Spencer.